this is Ra. Um, he is the team uh, lead of the digital agriculture and youth um, at Equisat. Um, it's a wonderful time with you. Uh, thank you for honoring our request to um, ask you some free questions. Uh, thank you. Thank you. So, Ra, um, yep. with, your, with your position and uh, your engagement or activities with uh, Equisat, uh, even during the time of COVID-19, I have listened to you uh, previously where you shared your thoughts around and what people are doing with digital technology, even in the time of COVID-19, uh, particularly in India. Can you just quickly recap and tell us what, uh, what innovations, digital innovations people are using to, uh, to help themselves to stay resilient and to uh, combat the challenge that COVID-19 has brought to us? Sure. Uh, it's, uh, see, broadly, I think um, uh, the tools that uh, farmers and other actors in the you know the food supply chain are using are pretty much you know not very high tech tools. Simple tools like WhatsApp, Facebook, or Twitter, right? Uh, but I think the real innovation is in the way they are repurposing the same old tools. The Does that answer your question? Yeah, seems like I lost you. Uh, can you repeat yourself, sir? Sure. So what I'm saying is, uh, per se, I think a lot of the innovation uh, that people are trying to you know, uh, bring is uh, they are repurposing existing tools, right? Like a WhatsApp or a Facebook or a, or a Twitter, right? Uh, you know, there were instances uh, or pilots in the past where people were, you know, experimenting with, using you know tools like a whatsapp or a facebook for potential market linkages or to find buyers on their own right but i think because of covid 19 especially in india uh, 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 you know the spot markets which farmers traditionally used to access during harvesting season those harvest you know those spot markets were pretty much kind of completely collapsed and uh, farmers were left to themselves to find those market linkages that's where i think farmers you know came together there were a lot of you know, loose uh, aggregations of farmers coming together using, you know, digital tools like a WhatsApp or a Facebook or a Twitter, uh, and then trying to, you know, find potential buyers for their produce, which was the immediate problem at hand. Uh, oh, that, that's awesome. That shows that the farmers are using uh, immediate technology, simple technology to be able to aggregate and to help themselves to market. Also, I would like to Absolutely. also ask uh, what your thought around the nexus between digital agriculture, youth, and development. What is the nexus? What can you make sense of it? What's the, what's the role of youth in digital agriculture to post development? No, absolutely. You see, um, in spite of all the best efforts of uh, the technology companies and all the great people who create wonderful digital innovations, uh, I think uh, there is a certain, um, you know, uh, you know, we all are, I think there is a generation, uh, there is, normally I think it is, it is fair to say that uh, the, uh, the people who were born in the last 20 to 30 years have a greater uh, propensity to, you know, to, to be easy, you know, they find it a little easier to handle digital gadgets, digital devices for whatever reasons, you know, vis-a-vis -vis, uh, some of the people who are from, you know, the older generations, right? So if you if your question is then, you know, what's the nexus between digital agriculture, youth and agriculture development? Mm. Uh, I do think uh, just because you have digital agriculture does not mean that you don't need qualified people uh, mm. to kind of operate those tools, right? And yes. considering that young people seem to be more adept at using digital tools, I think they are a natural fit uh, as far as rolling out any digitalized services or any digital agriculture interventions are concerned, right? Mm. Coming to agriculture development, um, I think we all agree that, uh, you know, uh, world is changing, uh, people are changing, attitudes are changing, agriculture is also changing, right? And uh, to basically cope with all these challenges like climate change or, you know, rapidly evolving consumer choices, especially, you know, you have the, the new consumer today is a is lot more environmentally conscious. They want to know where their food is coming from. They want to know that, 
you know the food that they have brought is actually been grown under you know ethical with ethical trade practices so the demands of the information demand from your food systems have also gone many fold now if you were to then put all these things into perspective and then identify like how do i achieve these competing multiple goals with 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 one or two interventions i'm sure all of us will agree that uh, digitalization can can help us achieve a lot of those goals number one and uh, in the process definitely you need to take young people along because if you want to roll out successful digital interventions you definitely need young people in the mix and parallelly by engaging young people in the mix you are also going to address the challenges of creating jobs mm. for the rural economies in the rural economies and in the process i think digitalization if managed properly i'd like to underscore the word if managed properly can create far more equitable um, workplaces so to say so you probably a transparent uh, supply chain will ensure that you know all the actors uh, you know are compensated equi- equitably and fairly uh, vis a vis in a in a slightly more um, information opaque scenario where you know the middleman probably had the greater opportunity to corner all the value mm. thank you so very much I, i i i i love your response and what i got um to what you said is that youth are drivers of digital agriculture and these will culminate into development if managed very well thank you so much and i would i would like also like to point out i um with the inspire challenge uh we see that it research the organization uh have or two or more uh entries uh, among the 20 uh, finalists and that is awesome that that shows that ecosat is contributing uh to to the to the to, to the development of digital technology in agriculture so i want to ask you what do you see as a trend uh or the prospect of or the future for the future of digital agriculture uh, uh, uh at this time and how do you see you in it see it's a i'd like to kind of uh, put it this way you know you watch movies right my friend do you watch movies yes i do yeah so you know there is something called as a trailer that any movie will have like a trailer is like a two minute video of what the movie is about right yes so i'd like to say the trailer looks the trailer of digital agriculture looks very promising right but for the trailer to become like a blockbuster grand spectacle you know which pleases one and all uh, i think uh, a lot of things need to fall in place so i think digital agriculture also lot of promise right having said that uh, there is a lot that needs to be done to ensure that digital agriculture actually you know uh, becomes a vehicle to deliver to deliver gender equality to deliver equity to deliver smallholder prosperity to deliver you know sustainability right so i think digital agriculture can be a vehicle to to hit a number of these uh, goals but it, you know it has to be managed i think there are you know it, it, it it's it's not just the responsibility of a cgir or a scientist it's not just the responsibility of a of a of a technology entrepreneur or a youth um, or a government right i think Uh, dig- for digital agriculture to really achieve its goals i think you need all these actors to basically you know to work like a symphony basically so to say thank you very much uh, uh, uh you your illustration is so 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 relatable uh the trailer looks it is very very interesting and it gives a glimpse about what is coming but however we have to put many things or some things in place to make it succeed or to work uh to work in diverse gender equality and many others thank you so much and i would also like to ask you what are your advice for youth uh um, in agriculture at this time what are your recommendations and your advice for youth in agriculture uh for youth who are in agriculture what would be my advice yes okay my my advice is uh just keep an eye on what's happening you know in the in the space of technology i mean you you don't need to you know this is again another uh, little analogy i give right uh, you don't need to be a pilot to fly right you can still buy a ticket and still fly right so on the same lines you don't need to understand technology you don't need to be like a bill gates or a jeff bezos to to really use technology to your advantage 
you just have to have that openness and you need to really understand uh, uh, you know as to to what degree of capacity or skill that one has to build so be open uh, always be curious explore apps try to be a little creative you know almost on a continual basis always uh, see that if if you are doing you know if you are doing an activity how can i use a little digital intervention how can i use a whatsapp or a mobile app how can i do this slightly better you know in in shorter sprints you know change need not always be a big bang change you can you can take uh, small steps you can take thousands of small steps and before you know it you have actually you know made a big transformation so my advice to youth is be open uh, you know uh, because uh, to be very honest the digital world uh, is is a is a very different world you know it can uh, young kids can come and disrupt major corporations i think that's the nature of the the digital economy you know uh, it's a great leveler so to say and no company big or small can afford to be complacent you always need to have an open mind be humble be willing to learn that's that's my i think that would be my concluding phrase on that also 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 be curious be open to learn and also to be able to adopt when you have the opportunity lastly i would like to ask Absolutely. what are, what are the opportunities um available uh, from your organization to the youth uh, what are the opportunities uh, or emerging opportunities that young people can 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 gain through to your in, uh, initiative or organization well uh, one ecrisat uh, we operate uh, across asia uh, eastern southern africa and western central africa uh, uh, can i just be excused for a minute all right yeah yeah so yeah so uh, we do we do offer Hello, Ram. Femi, are you there? Yes, I'm here with you. Femi, are you there? Yes, I'm here with you. Can Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Please go ahead. Yeah, just give me one minute. Somehow you're already. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, apologies. So, you are saying what opportunities Ecrisat offers youth? Yes. and as regards digital yeah so ecrisat yeah so ecrisat uh, actually works a lot in capacity building in capacities of training uh, and we do like in india we we run an incubator an exclusive incubator for uh, digital agriculture companies so we do provide a lot of mentoring a lot of uh, business uh, mentoring a lot of business support uh, a lot of co creation opportunities for entrepreneurs in- interested in creating digital technologies in Af- in asia of replic uh, so once we once we have that kind of a setup in probably potentially in kenya uh, what we'll try and do is at a regional level we will try and run a lot of uh, ag tech incubation challenges a lot of ag tech acceleration challenges we might also propose to undertake some capacity building programs networking opportunities right so anything that uh, we think is essential for an entrepreneur to succeed we will try and you know make available that support through ecrisat wow thank you so much ram i it a lovely time with you uh it's enlightening and i'm very sure um people who would have access to this uh, uh video uh would be enlightened the more just like as i i am thank you so much for your time thank you.